Hey guys, welcome to another audio commentary done by Diggity. This is MSL Season 3, the round of 4 between Mind and Savior. And I've been obsessing over this matchup the entire week. I cannot wait to watch it. I've just been analyzing everything ridiculously. Uh, looks like Mind is going to start in the upper right hand corner in white, and Savior is going to be starting in the lower left hand corner in blue. On this matchup, I would either expect an extremely early proxy from Mind, or I would expect him to seal his front door. I do not see him, uh, if he doesn't do either of those things, I don't think he can hang with Savior in the long term. I just think Savior's uh, micromanagement and, and macro management is just superior to Mind. Mind has not convinced me. He, he has very good uh, Terran versus Terran play, but he has yet to convince me in his Terran versus Zerg play. And I think this match is extremely important because I think uh, Blue Storm, which is going to show up twice in this setup if it goes to five rounds, so starting and ending, I think this is one of those maps that Mind can basically take games away from Savior with a quick proxy or with a, a clever like door seal into something creative. I don't know if he, uh, really fast vulture, something harassable like that. Savior's common pattern on this map has basically been uh, to kind of go quick zergling rush to pressure his opponent, uh, and then as soon as he's done that. Uh, either switch into Mutalisks and just end it there, but basically we haven't seen him get past uh, basically Mutalisks, and I would say the average length of time I've seen Savior on uh, this map in particular has been about, uh, I, would, I would say, five minutes. Uh, he's been absolutely devastating opponents on this map. Uh, I don't know if he's lost to a Terran on this map yet. And uh, yeah, it looks like a standard build. Doesn't look like Mind is sealing his front door. And again, I think that's a mistake. I think Savior is just going to be able to... Uh, uh, to beat him down if he just goes into late game, uh, kind of that late game macro. He is sending out a probe now. Savior does need to do a good job scouting. It looks like he's going to send that probe out uh, to drop that second hatchery. And really, I'm surprised that Savior isn't expecting some sort of cheese or something from Mind. Uh, granted, Mind isn't known for his creativity. He isn't super creative. But really, on either Blue Storm, if it goes to a fifth match, or Loki 2 maybe, I would expect some cheese. Maybe in Zodiac. I can't... It'd be a little harder in Zodiac unless uh, there's a very wide separation and, and Mind basically realizes that uh, basically a 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock... Uh, building setup. Right now, Mind looks like he's doing kind of a pretty standard build. Savior is, in fact, going to do his standard uh, build. He's going to go, uh, at least on this map, he's going to go uh, those early Zerglings. And, it, and this is going to be really advantageous. Mind has not sealed his front door. Uh, and honestly, I've seen players seal their front door against aggressive style players, specifically people playing Quanro. I've seen people seal their front doors and still uh, lose. Uh, in this, and that early gas really suggests to me that he, and, and that early spawning pool really suggests to me he is in fact going for a Zergling Rush. Uh, Mind is bringing down an early Marine. I'm not sure what he's going to do with that early Marine, but really, uh, those Zerglings are going to be out very fast, and Mind's going to have to put up with a, uh, a, a very quick harass in his base. Uh, looks like he's staking that, that Marine, uh, you can see on the mini-map, he's going to stake that Marine at his secondary. So he might be going for a fast expand. He is going for a fast expand. Big mistake. He's going to be running into all sorts of Zerglings really quickly here. I, I don't see with this build Mind coming out of this match successfully. And he knows the Zerglings are coming. That's what really surprises me. Uh, these Zerglings are going to be out very rapidly. They're uh, basically going to be able to basically have free reign on both the Choke and Mind's main unless he comes up with something absolutely amazing. Looks like he's going to use that SCV to do a bit of a blockade. Uh, actually, no, he's not going to stop a blockade. He's bringing that SAV all the way back, and now he's losing all information at the front. He's going to build a bunker, but that bunker is slightly out of position. I can see those Zerglings running right by, and uh, here comes more Zerglings flooding out. And we'll see if Savior uh, basically decides to either dedicate to this or goes Mutalisks. I definitely would su suspect that he would uh, dedicate more to this build, uh, especially kind of uh, seeing that that fast expand is out. Only three Marines going to that bunker, a second Marine going at that uh, kind of back position. And we'll see. I, I don't know that my... Oh, and a quick layer tech, so he's going to do kind of an initial Zergling harass uh, and then immediately go into Mutalisks. And, uh, wow, really fast tech for Savior. And I, he might even have Mutalus. Uh, yeah, you can see uh, free reign all the way into his base. And that was a really big mistake. He did manage to block a lot of the Zerglings, but already uh, a lot of Zerglings inside the base, able to get behind. And now all those Medic and Marines had the flood out. That's actually a decent-sized force, so he might be able to take it out. But if Savior had continued to dedicate Marines at the, uh, Lings at this point, which it doesn't look like he had, uh, basically this would be game at this point. In the meantime, these Lings, however, are still going to be in this base. They're still going to be able to harass mine significantly. As you can see, mine getting that academy down, he's going to go for uh, basically kind of more of a, a, a infantry build. 
but uh, Savage is just buying himself time. He's going to run these uh, Zerglings around the base and a uh, Hydralis den down. So it looks like Savior is actually going for a Lurker build. Uh, interesting. I, I did not expect Savior to do something like that. Being a little creative, being a little unorthodox here, I think. Uh, not going with what has been successful in the past against mine. That throws me off a little bit. Uh, he has no reason to go with a different build, to go with Lurker build. I'm not sure if mine spotted that out with that SCV, uh, but we'll see if, if basically he's prepared for that at this point. A lot of uh, Marines down, and really I feel like that was a miscue by Savior. I'm not sure why he's going Lurkers, uh, but this might end up paying out for him simply because I don't mind has been somewhat delayed here. He had to pull some SCVs off the line, not terribly delayed, uh, but we'll see if he basically manages to get a, uh, a decent sized, or basically any sort of, oh, wow, a proxy hatchery going down uh, for Savior, and I guess he's going to try to defend that proxy hatchery with an early lurker uh, and we'll see if Comstat goes down early for mine uh, and, and wow actually I take that back this is a large force coming down for mine mine may, might be able to take this match right here if he hurries up uh, if he does have uh, stim packs he might be able to take this match from from savior right here savior does not have a lot of forces on the ground he he did that early tech he has that second uh, looks like you can see the two hydralisks and the creep colony going out but not a lot of zerglings uh, and I don't know if he's gonna have the lurkers in time basically to deal with this large force from mind uh, Lurker Egg now going uh, for Savior, as they showed on the screen there, that, that sunken colony down, but only a single sunken colony. I'm not sure if those Lurkers are going to be in time. Mind has not scouted that, that proxy hatchery, so that might be trouble later. But now pushing in, those Lurker's eggs uh, are not hatched. Uh, he does not have any Zerglings, and they're going to go immediately for the main. This could be disastrous for Savior here. Again, I'm, I'm a little confused why Savior decided to go kind of with this build, but Savior, with brilliant micro, cuts off those forces before they get anywhere. And how did he take all those forces out? He only had four Zerglings and a handful of drones, and absolutely wiped that entire force of mines out. But mine does know at this point uh, that Lurkers are down. He does have Comsat out. Uh, so I don't see those lurkers being terribly effective. Savior's going to have to go uh, basically another tier uh, of tech here, and I think he's slightly behind economically at this point. Uh, he does have that proxy hatchery, though. And really, I, I, even being a little bit behind, I'm going to put this uh, still in Savior's control. It looks like mine is going to scout out that base. He's going to the far north. He's going to see that extra hatchery. Now Savior's going to be a bit in trouble. He's somewhat spread out. Uh, mine can easily kind of... Uh, Kind of pin, as you can see, Savior has that hatchery to the north, but he also has to worry about his, his base to the south, and in the meantime, he's dealing with lurkers. They require a lot of micromanagement to lift up and, and basically unburrow and burrow. Uh, so basically what mine could do is he could either do kind of a threatening push to the north or kind of a fake push uh, to the north and then immediately go to the south. Savior, in the meantime, going to uh, just camp out on the front, uh, as you can see, right on the ramp. But again, that's a little dangerous. He does not have a lot of forces on the ground. And I feel like he's uh, drastically under, underestimating mine. I'm not saying that mine... Uh, isn't an inferior player to save you here, but really, as you can see, he just has about, I don't know, 12 Zerglings and, and 4 Lurkers total to fight this attack off. He's going Spire now, and as you can see, Mind in the meantime already has his Engineering Bay down. Uh, he hasn't dedicated any turrets because he hasn't needed to because he saw those lurkers and uh, just gonna start pumping infantry at this point that spire almost up for mine or for savior I'm not sure if savior yeah he's gonna go wow fast hive tech I guess uh, trying to get those basically trying to get that spire up in the meantime he's just gonna try to contain uh, mind is gonna break that contain actually no he sees that the lurker I, I guess he suspects that the lurkers are at both locations uh, I'm not sure if a it looks like a splash went off there that uh, we didn't quite see not sure what's going on screen there. Starport going up for mine, so mine uh, very shortly is probably going to try to produce uh, science vessels because really in the tech battle, basically what this is going to come down to is can Savior uh, get his next tier tech? And here comes mine now, uh, pushing the infantry out, manages to kill both lurkers, uh, blocking that ramp with basically no issue. And again, I feel like Savior does not have a lot of forces on the ground. He does have those two hydralisks, or I'm sorry, those two mutalisks. But really, it uh, looks like four mutalisks, I'm sorry, but those four mutalisks against that large force with those six Zerglings, I don't think... That's not going to be able to force this out. And as you can see, Savior kind of pinned between two locations. Uh, Mind has a lot of options. He can basically draw to the north uh, and then go south, or he can just kind of push his way to the north. And I don't think Savior can do a lot to defend during the location. Savior being very clever, though, putting some Zerglings uh, around the edge. Uh, and as you can see, yeah, mine just forcing the units to the north, and then he's going to do immediately turn around and go for an attack, probably the main. It looks like he's just going to keep, uh, I take it back, he's just going to keep Savior in position there, uh, make sure Savior's not harassing his main with those Mutalisks, uh, going to reinforce, and then I think as soon as he reinforces, uh, just push up from there. 
And uh, yeah, it looks like the the reinforcements getting caught off guard. Uh, and, and yeah, so now he's just gonna, he's going to ignore that northern hatchery. He's going to start pushing down to the south. He's just scouting out to make sure it looks like that upper left hand location. Make sure that Savior uh, didn't expand otherwise. Uh, and he, very shortly, he's going to he has those two bunkers down, very well protected secondary. Uh, a lot of turrets down. Wow, Mind is very well bunkered in right now. So Savior is going to have to go uh, kind of a higher level tech.